Dear Alex. Dear Patrick. Dear friend. Dear mom. Dear my inner child. Dear mom and dad. Dear Scott. I wanted to write this because if I said it in person, I'd probably be a mess. Every time I see you, I always think how great that Gina is still my friend. And then, when will I see her again? It can be hard for a father to express his love and affection. All the things I feel when you're around. How much our time together means to me. The joy you bring to my heart and always have. I love how kind, compassionate, and creative you are. I could go on forever about all the happy little details that made you who you were. And the best part about all those little details is that they'll always be with me. Although you left this world all too soon, you're still in it because I carry your life with me. Yes, Heather, time to die is part of life. I have had a wonderful life. I miss you, my brother, and I miss who you would be for my daughter, Zoe, the uncle she never met who would be her guiding soulmate if you were still here. Tomorrow, I canoe down the creek looking for salmon that had just arrived, only to spawn and die. They remind me to enjoy life while I can. Heather, dear, do a good deed for someone every day. Thank you for being number one, kind, number two, funny, number three, smart, number four, honest, and number five, the best big sister ever. Thank you for taking care of me. Food, shelter, bed, clothes, life, help, books, money, and love. P.S. Treats. I look forward to being friends with you someday. You're the definition of the bomb. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For making me more curious with your gorgeous postcards and for reminding me to listen to my urban intrigue investigator. You give me much needed inspiration and hope. Thank you. I love you too, bud. <laughs> Cliff. I love you, mommy. Forever and always, you're Jaybird. Love, Zach. XOXO, your penultimate pen pal, Rhea. I miss you every day. Love, Tim. Love, Dad. I guess that wasn't as hard as I thought. <laughs>